Behind the high walls of the Torah prison complex, another day in court for the Al Jazeera journalists. This time, no cameras were allowed in. We filmed these images at a previous hearing. The award-winning Australian correspondent, Peter Gresta, is followed by his colleagues, Mohammed Fahmi and Beher Mohammed. Their imprisonment has caused an international outcry. The Al Jazeera team are accused of having links to the banned Muslim Brotherhood and of broadcasting misleading stories about Egypt. Several videos were played in court, but none from their channel. Bizarrely, the footage included a story on animal welfare by a rival network. The court was also shown material from Peter Gresta's laptop. There was a news conference from Kenya, a documentary he made in Somalia, and even some of his parents' holiday photographs. From inside his cage in court, he shouted that this so-called evidence was a complete joke. His brother Mike told us if it wasn't so serious, it would be hilarious. But the journalists have now spent over a hundred days behind bars. He says that must be taking its toll on Peter. I think it's going to be the end result in more of a, a mental strain that's been placed on him. And how he sort of comes out of that is, is difficult to know at this stage. But, um, you know, spending 23 hours a day uh, locked in a cell with two other colleagues for, you know, seven days of the week is, um, is sort of, you know, torture in anyone's language, I think. More than three months on, the journalists say the authorities have failed to produce a shred of evidence against them.